So statics, uh, depending on what course or your professor, um, it usually doesn't involve that much calculus, but uh, for this example, I think I'll introduce this new concept of uh, normal forces and how to find normal forces if like the path of motion per se is is a law is defined by some equation um, like this one y equals one fifth x squared so as we did before our goal is trying to find reaction forces so uh, the reaction force on the slider which is a and this reaction force of the uh, of the roller which is B so uh, we're given um, how uh, where this uh, contact force is occurring by this equation and we're given it that it's one meter from the y-axis so we're, we're also given this equation right here and we're getting that the center of mass of the slider is right here and the mass of the rod slider and the roller basically this whole system is 30 kilograms so the first thing we're gonna do is actually draw a free body diagram so our free body diagram is going to look something like this, like that, and then I have a roller, something like that. If I could draw that a little bit better, I think. So, or I can't. Okay, that, that should be good enough. So uh, we could draw our forces on it. So the force on A um, is basically just this normal force, and A. There's no other restriction of movement besides, yeah, there's no other restriction of movement. Um, and A is pointing that way. And then there's going to be a weight force pointing directly downward, W. And then there's going to be a normal force, which is perpendicular to this contact surface. So that's going to look something like, I don't know, maybe like not along the axis of the rod, but maybe something like that. So that's going to be NB. So now you may be wondering, how do I find the, the direction of this uh, normal force? Well, let's draw the, the, the path or this, uh, this surface. So if the surface is defined in this orientation, so we could say that um, this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. So this is x and y. What we can actually do, um, since they define one meter, let's say right here, this is one meter, what we can do is go directly upward, directly upward, so we could say directly upward, and this is where the, the roller is contacting the surface, or is in contact with the surface. So what we can do is actually use the concept of a derivative. So the derivative is actually the tangent line, the tangent line to that point. And if we could find that tangent line, we could actually define the angle at which it, um, this contact force is occurring. So if you can actually imagine this, um, the, the derivative in, um, defines like an infinitesimal. So like, let's say like this very, very small change in y and x. But since this is a straight line, the slope is constant along this line. So we can actually define this angle of phi by looking at this right triangle or this right triangle. So it doesn't really matter. And we could define this ratio between the triangles as dy dx. So if this slope, this slope, we call it m equals dy dx, what we're really saying is that this triangle has a very small change in y and a very small change in x and this angle at which it creates uh, about, uh, the, with respect to the x-axis is phi. So basically using some trig, we could define that angle. So we could define tangent phi as dy over dx, or we could define phi directly by saying it's a tan inverse of the derivative. So this concept you'll see a lot in dynamics. So I'm just trying to int introduce it now, but that is the basic idea. So you can use this angle to find that roller. So what we, we can actually redraw this diagram if you're kind of confused. So if we draw this roller and we can draw that tangent line, ignore the curved path, we could draw the tangent line like this and we could define that angle 
going from here, which is perpendicular or, or horizontal. So we could define that angle, and the normal force is acting along that direction, N B. So what we can do is actually define this angle right here as phi. So now that we have that, we can actually draw that onto our uh, diagram. So this angle right here is phi. So now we just have to find phi. So we're given that the y equals one fifth x squared, x squared. So we could uh, take the derivative of this. So dy dx is two fifths x, and we're given x in the problem, which is one meter, and the equation is in terms of meters. So that should be fine. So we could say dy dx evaluated at x equals one we get two fifths. So we could, that implies that phi is the tan inverse of two fifths. So what, what we get for phi is that it's 21.801 degrees. So using our free body diagram, we can solve that, uh, we can solve this by simply looking at the forces in the x and y direction. So what we can do now is sum the forces in the x direction so the sum of the forces in the x direction equal Na minus Nb sine phi, which equals zero. And then we get the sum of the forces in the y direction equal, well, we define our axes in this orientation, x and y. So Na is going that way. So uh, the y direction, we have negative w and then this uh, this NB in the Y direction. So we could define NB, NB, not ND, NB cosine phi minus W equals zero. So from the second equation, we could say that NB is equal to W over cosine phi, which is 316.970 newtons. And then from there, we could define uh, Na. So Na will actually equal Nb sine phi. So Na equals 117.718 newtons, which is all we need to solve this problem. So uh, the main trick of this problem is pretty, o which is pretty obvious what we did, is, is basically using the idea of tangent lines and the, the geometric meaning behind um, derivatives is the tangent line. So we use that to define the, the tangent line at the point of contact and use that angle at which the tangent line creates with the x-axis to find the the to use that for to define the position or the orientation of the contact force at B or of the roller, and then we go through our typical equations, draw a free body diagram to find the reaction forces N B and N A. So that is the whole point of this problem: is to introduce you to this concept of using. Um, a little bit of calculus to solve a geometric problem.